Hey, how's it going guys? Matt back here with another one. Beautiful day out today. Today I'm going to be doing a how to weld for beginners, kind of an intro to welding course. And I have everything kind of laid out that I'm going to need for the welding I'm going to be doing today. I'll go into specifics on each individual item that you see. Um, but for now, let's talk about the different welding processes. All right, so there's various different types of ways to weld metal together. Some of the most popular are gonna be your MIG, which is your gas metal arc welding. Then you have your TIG, which is your gas tungsten arc welding. You have your stick, which is shielded metal arc welding, and your flux core arc welding. Today we're gonna be MIG welding, um, but all the other processes are very... So as far as the items I have here, I think the most important part of welding is making sure you have the proper PPE. And what I have here is a welding helmet that's gonna protect my eyes from the arc as I'm welding have a pair of heavy duty welding gloves that'll protect splatter from penetrating my skin. I also recommend you have long jeans, heavy duty jeans and a welding jacket. However, you can get away with wearing a heavy duty sweatshirt and sweatpants. Next we have our shielding gas. I'm gonna be doing some mild steel welding today. So I have a 2575 CO2 argon mix and I have my regulator attached to that. And I'll probably be running about 18 CFH on the regulator to shield my arc. Next we have here our wire spool. Wire spools typically come in one or 10 pound wire spools. The wire is then fed through the wire feeder here, which feeds the wire throughout the gun cable and out the gun's contact tip. It all comes together to create an arc between a consumable metal electrode and the metal workpiece. The electrode melts to form the weld bead, fusing the two pieces of metal together. All right guys, next you're gonna have your welding chart which is pretty neat in that it's gonna allow you to put the correct parameters for whatever you're welding, the thickness of the material welding, wire speed, voltage, and so on. So just follow the chart and you should be all right. Yeah, so we're gonna be welding mild steel today with a wire type of 0.023 and a shielding gas 75 argon, 25% CO2. Thickness is going to be 316. So if we go down, our wire speed setting needs to be 430 and our voltage needs to be 19.5. One step we're gonna do before we weld our project is going to, you know, get scrap metal the same thickness as the uh, the metal we're gonna be welding. You know, that's all, all it's gonna do is prevent error going forward. So you get your weld down, you get a nice feel for how your welder's working for you. And if you can't get it right, adjust accordingly and you'll, you'll get it right. Um, well, another thing I'll say is make sure you're in a comfortable position because nine times out of 10, if you find yourself in a comfortable position, your welds are gonna come out that much better. So what we're gonna do now is uh, you know, see, see how my settings are working for me. And if they're not working all that well, we'll adjust accordingly. As I typically like a little over a quarter inch of stick out. So anywhere from like a quarter inch to three eighth inch of stick out when I'm welding mild steel. And that typically works for me. So let's give it a shot. Not a huge fan of how my scrap came out but that's all right we didn't practice on the real thing so what we'll do is get more scrap metal adjust our machine accordingly and give it another shot
All right, guys, so there's two methods when it comes to actually welding that I like. And the first is gonna be your cursive V. And I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Exactly how it sounds, just doing a cursive V. Controlling that puddle, staying consistent. Cursive V, all the way down. And if you're not good with cursive, you can do the zigzag method, which I also like. And it's simply, you're doing a zigzag back and forth, back and forth, staying consistent all throughout the world, all throughout the world. And I feel as if those are the two easiest methods to get a really nice solid weld. What I would say is there's, there's plenty of methods out there, really find with what works for you, but you can definitely use these two as a starting point and kind of go from there. All right, guys, one thing I will definitely recommend is welding magnets. Highly recommend them. They really do keep everything in place so you can get in that comfortable position and get a nice clean weld exactly where you want it. So welding magnets. I think I got this set, a four pack for, I don't know, maybe 20 bucks at Harbor Freight. So definitely look to invest in some welding magnets. All right, right before we weld, guys, we're gonna want to kind of put a tack a tack here, maybe a tack on the backside, a tack on the uh, the corner here. And what that's gonna do is allow you to weld without um, without the weld warping on you and kind of lifting on this side and shifting. So it'll keep everything in place. So I highly recommend you know put a tack weld on each side just to keep everything in place, and then you can go over it with your zigzag method or your cursive V. We're gonna be doing that now.
All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. Unfortunately, I ran out of shielding gas due to my miniature bottle. and wasn't able to finish my project. So tomorrow I'll be filling up that bottle, potentially even buying a bigger bottle. So with that being said, if you are looking to get into welding or invest in welding equipment, what I would do off the bat is invest in that higher quality equipment. You know, a bigger bottle, higher quality welder. It's going to save you in the long run. Higher quality equipment. On top of that, what I would say is continue to practice, guys. Continue to practice. I'm continuously getting better every single day. I'll pick up some scrap metal, various thicknesses, stainless steel, aluminum, whatever it is, and I'll practice, I'll practice, I'll practice. And I'm getting better every single day. So with that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Have a wonderful day, guys. Continue to practice. God bless y'all.